What's up, gang? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Excited to be back with some Madden 25 gameplay. Going up against Trent Richardson and the Cleveland Browns. I have teased him how to dug in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, I usually saw the title screen, but the Redmond was messing up doing the title screen. But I definitely wasn't able to get the rest of the game, man. So this is definitely um, a full game here. And, uh, man, very solid game here. Oh, my goodness, man. As you see, my opponent has the ball, man. With that nut, Trent Richardson, man, he is a problem. He is a beast. Just a, just a big wrecking ball. This a problem to bring down. 95% of the time he falls forward, very rarely falls back. He, he's just, he's a nightmare. He's just a nightmare for defense. There's a little lag in the beginning of the game. I apologize for the lag, but um, throughout the game, the lag definitely fades away, man. Check out this, man. Third down right here. My opponent gets a nice play to the tight end coming down the field. Trying to get the first score of the game. Of course, I got to stop him. Let's see what happens. Second and goal right here. He kind of runs in a little bit, but doesn't quite get the touchdown. Third down and goal coming up right here. Let's see what happens. He ends up scoring right there. It is a very, it's very tough this year to stop people at the goal line, but check out this run right here. Look, look at this beauty. Oh my goodness, somehow I get around that corner. I don't know how I got around that corner. Juke move right there. Ooh, that was sick. And he finally tackles me, and I have great field position. And of course, I'm going to try to take advantage. The second down right here, I throw to Vincent Jackson. He is wide open due to the fact that my opponent tried to use it, but didn't get it, and I end up tying the game, and, and I'm feeling excellent right here. After that nice big touchdown right there, how could you not? But look at this, man. Just a problem, man. Trent Richardson, man. I'm just like, I, you know, I, I don't know what to do. With him. I get the sack right there. I send the blitz. I'm blitzing a lot more this year than I usually do. But, man, check out this right here. Third down and forever. I think it was like third down to 18. He busts out the run, but he almost got around that corner. If he would have got around the corner, it would have been nothing but lane. It would have been nothing but field. He would have got the first down. Thank you. Yo. Thank goodness we got that, man. But look at this, man. Check out this nice screen right here to teach him how to doggy. Number 22 with a juke move. Ooh, the juke is nice this game shit. Of course, we're coming down the field trying to figure out a way to get into the end zone. I want to get a score right here. Make the score 14-7 to and take the lead. You don't want to get this close and, and make a mistake, man, <laughs> which I do sometimes. Third down right here. Play action. That throw is open, so I take off to the right with Josh Freeman. And I'm running in for the touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Nice play on my part. And I actually ended up getting a trophy earned right there, so that was pretty cool too but look at this man this guy benjamin he uh, he scares me he he's like banks and holiday you know those kickers that guy is just he, he's scary man like, my opponent's coming down the field he's definitely running the ball a lot it's great to go to the second half he's gonna try to find a way to get a score right here let's see what happens he's coming down the field he, i'm trying to figure him out he, he's clutching me in the quarters because at the end of the half but look at this man. i actually catch him right here ghosting right here getting the interception i get the user pick right before the half i do a light little run right here you know what in the first half doug martin really didn't do that much as far as running the ball Brown's defense, run defense is really, really nice, man. He pretty much shut down my run defense in the first half. But in the second half, Doug Martin starts to do a little better. So right here, second half, I have the ball right here. Of course, the score is 14 to 7. And of course, I'm going to try to figure out some way you know, to get into his end zone. Look at this. The boy Doug Martin, he, he just start, now he's starting to come into his own a little bit. I'm starting to get a nice feel for the run game. Now that the run game is working, I'm just, I'm just going to it. Look at this. I'm just going to it. I'm relying on it. I don't see a reason to, you know, you know, mix it up too much when something's working. So especially in the beginning of the year when you're trying to get wins, you know, just try, I'm just trying to do what works. Of course, I'm still trying to figure the game out. And the run game was working, so I went to it. And, and Doug Martin is considered a top 10 running back in the league right now, especially fantasy wise. Check out that third down play right there. I made a nice solid adjustment. I ended up getting the third down right here. And of course, I'm trying to figure out a way to get, to, to get into this end zone, man. I'm trying to squeeze in there. I just, I just want to get in there somehow. And check out this third down. I had somebody. I had two people. People open, but he sent the blitz, which was outstanding. I ended up kicking a field goal right there, but check out this. Oh, my goodness. I get my second user pick of the day. Oh, my goodness. It felt so good to get that pick, man. The first pick by Mark Barron. I believe it's by Ron Barron, if I ain't mistaken. But now I have the ball. Of course, I'm trying to make something happen. I, I, I tried to throw to the tight end right there. He was he was open, but he, he actually just kept going, which usually doesn't happen. But look at this. Rewind that play right there. Rewind that play. I had circle wide open. I think it was Vincent Jackson, but I didn't see it till late. And he hit me before I could get the playoff. I was like, oh my goodness. And now I got to try to stop, man. It scored 17 to 7. Let's see what happens right here. But check out this, man. After the lag. I don't know. My man kept going back. I ended up getting another pick. This is actually a computer pick, though, with Mark Barr in the game. Mark Barr has two picks on the game, man. Very solid game on his part, man. And I, I have a chance. You know, just take full advantage of this game. You know, just take control and just really end this game. But don't go anywhere because a turn of events really happens in this game. Oh, my goodness. Hell. 
check out this. I show, I'm showing you this because I'm showing you what I wanted to do. I just, I just want to hit Doug Martin, you know, on a nice little out route. But look at this. Kruger gets a defense alignment pick. And at this point, I'm like, you got to be kidding. It's 17 to 7. I'm going to put the game away. And that happens. Like, you got to be joking. And Doug Martin finally chases him down. So now at least I can try at least hold this guy to a field goal because he's clearly in field goal range. I'm just like, oh my goodness, man. Check out this is third down right here. He dropped back. He dropped back a lot, man. But look at what look at what's gonna happen here. This guy ends up finding a way to find a guy. He catches it like right at the five, but he kicks a field goal really quick, making the score 17 to 10. And then look at this. This is this is good. You know, this is good. I don't blame him for going for this, of course, but he actually gets it. This I think that's the first time this happened to me this year. I think. Don't quote me on that, but man, I couldn't believe he got that onside kick, and I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me. This guy actually has a chance to to win the game, to tie the game up, man. This guy was I had him, you know, I had him under my web, <laughs> you know, and he found a way to get away. So now I gotta try to stop him. I haven't had a problem stopping him, so I'm not really too worried. But you know, you know, like you know, of course life has to go on. Check this out, man. Fourth down. Can I finally get a stop? No, he gets a nice play to the right, and now it's getting deep. <laughs> it's getting deep right here. I, I got I'm just thinking to myself right here. Launch pad, just figure out a way to stop him. Just stop him, man. Hold him to a field goal, something, man. There's second thing, I bet third down right here. I'm sorry. I don't get I don't get he doesn't get that play to the right. Oh my goodness, y'all. Big play right here. But after this play, believe it or not, the game is not over. Big play right here, man. He tries to throw it to the left, and I end up stopping him. Woo so the score is still 17-10. to 10. First run right here, he stops me. He calls a timeout. Second run. Look at this. I run to the right. I thought I had a little lane, but he stops me again, calls a timeout. Third down. I, I go to the draw because I wanted to keep the time running. Stops me again, forcing me to punt with seconds left to go in the game. Whew. And then this guy gets the ball. Now I, I'm like, man, why did I kick it straight to this guy? But luckily, I get the tackle right there, man. Benjamin is a beast. Last play of the game. Can this guy tie the ball game up, man? Oh, my goodness. And we get the bat down. Oh, my. Whew. I wasn't sure whether to call this game a classic or not, so I didn't call it a classic because I questioned it. But it definitely um, it had, it had me it had me going. I definitely, I, this game definitely had me going. Throughout the game, I felt like I was better than him. But just because you feel like you're better than someone, doesn't mean you're going to win the game, man. But whew, shout out to my opponent. Much love, much respect. Um, it just feels good. That you got to win games like these. You want to win games like these. Especially when you want to have a decent record. You just want to win games like these. This win feels good because I, I felt like I was better. I felt like I was supposed to win. But, man, shout out to this guy, man. This guy, he's 0-2 right now, and he played both with Cleveland Browns. So, you can tell that he's a Cleveland Browns fan. So, man, shout out to him for playing with a team like Cleveland and sticking to his guns and playing with his team, man. So, shout out to him for that. Shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are the best subscribers on the planet. Please hit that like button for your boy. If only if you enjoyed the video and the content, comment for your boy, subscribe, all that great stuff. This is your boy, Launchpad1412, and I'm out.